Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope all of you guys are doing well. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the 2003 film Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. Um, this is this film follows a teenager who has an interest in cooking, and uh, he finds the interest while playing baseball with his friends, and his father is one of the coaches. And everybody kind of gives him, you know, basically shit for it. Um, his dad kind of you know, doesn't really uh, uh, care for it, wants him to be more into the baseball. His friends don't get it. Uh, they kind of, you know, in a way disapprove of it. Um, can't understand why he's into that. And then, you know, he's got this teacher who feels like he has a talent for it and encourages him to follow it. And there's this big competition uh, going on that's hosted by Bobby Flay. And, uh, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Um, so there's this big competition hosted by Bobby Flay and, uh, you know, the teacher encourages Eddie to try to, you know, participate in this. Um, but Eddie's kind of, you know, torn between, you know, wanting to be passionate about something he loves, but also dealing with, you know, the pressure of his friends and family and being basically teased about having a passion for cooking and that's kind of where the plot of the film is um i really enjoyed this movie i've always enjoyed this movie uh since it first premiered it's just a really enjoyable film and you know this is a 2003 film so around 2003 2004 you kind of see the the decline in some way of the disney channel original movies because in 2003 and 2004 i've always felt like you know, when I watch those type of films that came out during that year, I get that late 90s, early 2000s feel. Um, and eventually that would kind of die out, you know, as we got more into, to, you know, later in the year of 2004. So I do feel like it's one of those last remaining, like, better Disney Channel original movies. It does have a well-known cast. Um, my only minor complaint with this is I found two characters to be extremely annoying. One of those characters being one of the friends uh, that Eddie has. It just comes off as just like a jealous ass uh, is the best way to, to sum it up. He just, I don't know what it is about the character or if just the acting is bad, but he just comes off as like this really jealous jerk when, I guess, the, the, the direction that they're trying to go is him just, you know, not being jealous, but he comes off as jealous. That's how I feel when I watch it. And then there's this woman uh, who, you know, is the same grade as him and kind of competes. You know, she wants to compete against him in this uh, contest. And she just comes off as very just annoying, uh, especially towards the end of the film. It's just like whiny and it, at times it just anytime i'd have to see that character i'm just like oh can we get through this scene but other than those two characters i feel like the film itself is pretty enjoyable it's related to some extent at times i think the cast is great and i feel like the actor who plays eddie i think is pretty good but there are moments where i feel like you know he they make his character seem too weak like he can't put his foot down and you know, state how he feels. But other than that, I mean, you know, I feel like they could have done better, you know, not let him be walked on so much throughout the film. Uh, but nonetheless, it's still enjoyable for what we got. It's not going to be a perfect film by all means. Um, but this film is available on Disney Plus. So if you guys are interested in checking that movie out and give it a watch again, it's Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off uh, from 2003. It's one of those ones people don't talk about, kind of flew under the radar in 2003. I don't think 2003 had a whole lot in the way of Disney Channel original movies, um, at least that were decent. Uh, other than this, there might be a few I'll have to look into it. But nonetheless, um, I I think it's one of my favorites for sure. So with that being said, if you've seen this movie, let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear your opinion. And if you haven't seen it, give it a watch. And then let me know what you think of. Uh, if you enjoyed the review, give it a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. With that being said, I am Films Up with Mikey. And until next time, guys, we'll talk films. Have a good one. Peace.